Conor McGregor was arrested in Miami overnight. Uh, it all stems from an alleged altercation with a fan who was trying to take a photograph outside a Miami Beach hotel. Um, the issue seems to be that he was taken into custody at 5.56 local time under charges of strong-armed robbery, a second-degree felony, and criminal mischief, a third-degree felony. Um, he was released following the payment of $12,500 bail, and there's footage of him um, being discharged. He's already also posted on Instagram. So there's the arrest sheet, which has the uh, strong-armed robbery. Basically, it's alleged that he took the phone. There's his um, Instagram story, a picture of a Miami police car. Or is it very wise to be putting pictures <coughs> up of... Um, the police who've just arrested you. Anyway, uh, so that's the Insta story. And then, patience in this world is a virtue I continue to work on. I love my fans dearly. Thank you all. That's the picture of him taken by Pap, uh, of him leaving jail, having been arrested for... Um, so he takes the phone, allegedly, throws it on the ground, stomps on it, and then walks off with the phone. The phone was alleged to be worth $1,000, um, according to... The fan, the police were called. His uh, lawyers subsequently issued a statement. Last evening, Conor McGregor was involved in a minor altercation over a cell phone that resulted in a call to law enforcement. Mr. McGregor appreciates the response of law enforcement and pledges his full cooperation. And just to uh, put this in some context, obviously, there was the previous arrest in New York in April 2018. Uh, Ariel Hawani is this morning reporting that um, McGregor completed his community service in New York recently, stemming from the incident at the Barclays Center. His case is officially closed there. So whatever comes of the incident in Miami would not affect his plea deal in New York. So it's not like it's going to be a second strike. But you'd have to wonder if um, this arrest just ends up going away and if you know, the phone can be replaced and something can be smoothed over to prevent another criminal record for McGregor because maybe the second one might make it difficult to uh, travel freely in and out of the United States. Um, certainly not something that you would want on your record. And they were in Miami um, celebrating his mother's 60th birthday. There's a picture from Instagram. My mother's 60th birthday party at the Versace mansion. My mother has long been a fan of this fine Italian silk. In fact, we are fans of all the Italian fabrics. And then it has an ad. So the Versace mansion, obviously famous for um, Gianni Versace being assassinated on the steps of it. Um, I don't know if you saw the follow-up to the uh, People vs. O.J. Simpson. There was a series about that where um, they delved into the Versace murder. Um, what happened, it was actually a serial killer who um, shot Gianni Versace on the steps of that mansion that um, they're having that uh, 60th birthday all dressed in Versace. So that is the lead story in the newspapers this morning, some breaking news overnight. Conor McGregor has been a, uh, arrested and released on um, bail or bond of 12 and a half grand, is what they say, it's bond. Um, so you get more details on that on offtheball.com and we will continue updating that story as we get some updates for you across this morning.